Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. If you're new here, my name is Angela and I run two businesses. Um, one is an embroidery business where I make a bunch of children's clothing and I also have a ribbon business as well um, where I sell wholesale ribbon. Um, I do get a lot of questions on how I ship my items um, and a lot of people have shipping questions and how I save on shipping. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my shipping supplies, how I package my orders and how I ship them. So I do everything out out there but my daughter's out there and <laughs> I'm sure she's on her iPad so it's a little loud but I will try to manage. So here are the orders I have to package. It is a few of them. Got to package these. I have the, uh, there's a few more. So I put them in the bags like this and there will be a packing slip with it. But just, I can't show you guys the packing slip just because that personal information. So what I'm going to do now is, oops, some scissors fell. Put all the packing slips with the shirts and put them in the bags. Um, let me show you what the bags look like. So the shirts I ordered are from ARB Blanks and they come in plastic bags already so I just reuse the bags. Um, you can also buy bags off Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and put all the shirts in the bags along with their uh, pack and slips. package everything or meaning after I put all the shirts with their packing slips I uh, go ahead and print the shipping labels for all my orders um, and I will show you guys how I do that Etsy has a way to do it you can use a normal printer I now use a Rolo printer so it doesn't use any ink at all because I was spending so much money on ink. I use a Rolo thermal printer um, so it doesn't use any ink it's just like heat you plug it in and it it ships them really fast I'll go ahead and show you that how that works I'll also show you how I buy the uh, shipping off Amazon I do also have a scale. I got this scale. It's pretty dirty. I've had it for a few years. I got this off Amazon. So how this works, you just turn it on and wait for it to set to zero. And then you weigh, weigh the shirt. So it says it's 2.8 ounces. Um, I always put them at five. Let's see, with the mailing slip, it's three. So three ounces. So for the for all my shirts, I put five ounces just because some shirts are bigger. So there's like a size 12, which could be five ounces. Although it only says three, I always like to go up a li just a little bit. Because if you do round down, or like say it's like 3.5 and you put three, they can send it back to you because you didn't pay full price for the uh, shipment. And I don't even want to deal with that. So I put all my outfits or uh, all my shirts at five ounces. So here is what the Etsy shipping dashboard looks like and I have a preset already for my shirts but I will show you guys how to do it manually. I put in 5 ounces like you guys just saw when I weighed it and I choose package thick envelope and the mail is a 10 by 13 so I put 13, 10 and 3 and then I choose first class mail. You can only use first class if your package is under 1 pound. Then I'll go ahead and click review your purchase. And it tells you purchasing one label for $3.22. And then I click purchase. And then I click print shipping label. I have a roller thermal printer like I showed you. So it's a 4 by 6 um, label that it will print. So I just put the settings in and just print it. And it prints just like that. They print really fast. And I love my roller printer. And no, this is not sponsored at all. So here's where I keep all my shipping supplies. 
So I get these mailers. These are for the girls and these are for boy shirts. Um, that way it's easy to know, you know, if someone's package is lost, I can tell them exactly what the packaging looks like so they can go and ask their neighbors. So this is for girls, this is for boys. Um, I, I get this tape. Also off Amazon, this is the Sure Start tape. It's so quiet, I love it. Um, also, for priority mail, I get uh, padded flat rate envelopes and the uh, just flat rate envelope. Like These are free, so completely free. I also get the regional rate A boxes. All priority mail items are free on the post office website. So these boxes, the regional rate box A, they have regional rate box B, they have medium flat rate, large flat rate, small flat rate. They have different boxes to try to save you some money. This box is what I ship my outfits in, which is like the tutus and shirts. Um, it is a lot cheaper than shipping a, pri a flat rate or just regular priority mail. So for the regional rate box A, which what it means is is a certain rate depending on the region up to 15 pounds so if i'm shipping the outfit maybe to new york i'm in maryland shipping would be like 850 but if i ship it to california it's 11 dollars. whereas it would normally can be like 17 18 dollars so it saves you money um you just play around with the numbers on uh etsy and you can get the best price then i can also show you some some more boxes I have that I use to I use to ship my ribbon. So here I keep all my shipping supplies, all the boxes. So I do have a bunch of boxes. Like I said, they're all free. You can get all those packages free, all those sh uh, shipping supplies free from the post office, USPS.com. Or you can also pick them up at the post office. So For the free supplies, you will go to USPS.com. And you will go over the mail and ship tab and click stamps and supplies. Then you will click on the supplies button. I select the priority mail on the left hand side. And then these are all the boxes that you can get for free. So you would just click on them and order however many you need. But like I said, these are all free. The regional rate box A that I told you guys about, that's the one I use the most. They have so many different kinds. And let's see what's on the second page. Yep, just more boxes, mailing tubes, little boxes, and the envelopes. The flat rate envelope is $6.95 to ship, but like I said, they're free to buy. And the padded flat rate is another very popular one. So those are the supplies I get. You just click how many you need, add to cart, and then they will ship them straight to your house. Or like I said, you can just pick some up at the post office because they do have some. And here is... Here is the Amazon website where I get my mailers. So 10 by 13 is the size I use. And here are some of the mailers that they have. And they're all available for Prime. So usually you get them uh, next day or uh, two days. But 10 by 13 is the size I use for all my shirts. I've already printed the shipping label, so I'll go ahead and show you how I package them. So what I'll do is I'll separate boy and girl shirts. And uh, if they're outfit, if they're outfit, they go in a box. So that's an outfit shirt. But if not, I separate boy and girl. And I already have the shipping labels all printed, but I, you know, don't want to show you guys that because people's addresses are on there. Um, but so I have two girl shirts and four boy shirts. So now that I have the mailers here what i do is um i turn these over because it has like the ship to the, the addresses and the names of who ordered them so i will um flip them all over so i can read the names and then just package them so i just stick them on and put the shirt inside, pull it off, and close it.
so now they all packaged and ready to be shipped um i also have another tip because i do not go to the post office very often i have the post office actually come pick up all these items so online on the usps.com website you can schedule a pickup and it is free so whenever they normally pick up pick when they pick up your normal mail or drop off your normal mail you can have them pick up your items you just put in how many packages you have for them to pick up and they will come and pick it up so it saves you time from going to the post office and since they are already uh, prepaid, then you, you don't do anything. So that is how I package my orders. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have regarding shipping, um, the best shipping methods and everything. I'll also try to link, you know, the Amazon printer um, and the mailers and everything in the description box. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.